I was never a big fan of the term urban exploring. I like to call it abandoned adventures. Sounds cheesy, but I do like cheesy. Anyway, I'd like to give a few tips when going out for a little adventure. There are plenty of websites with detailed maps and directions to get to all the big places, but I'm here to talk about the smaller, more secluded areas. First things first, Google satellite imagery can be helpful, but by no means the best way. The best way is to drive. You can feel something like a sixth sense to drive down a certain road. If not, just go down any shady looking street. One helpful clue is to look for telephone poles. Chances are, if you don't see any, there isn't an abandoned house. Now you may find some sort of barn or stone hut, but usually you won't find something deep in the woods without seeing telephone wires leading the way. Unless of course it's a very, very old house, but realistically anything that old and abandoned is either torn down or demolished. Maybe you aren't sure if a house is vacant. Sometimes they may look it, but you can never be sure. Check for a mailbox. If you don't see one, that's a good sign. Busted windows, open door, another good sign. I like to knock, but entirely for a different reason. Squatters, homeless people, wild animals, make a noise. Be careful out there, sometimes you might encounter people in these places. In snowy areas, I like to check for footprints. If snow fell a few days ago and there are no tracks, that's a good sign that no one's around. So now you're positive the house is vacant and no one is inside. But there's one more thing to look for, signs. Such as no trespassing. This becomes a gray area. Trespass and you are breaking the law. Most times when I see the sign, I just take pictures from the outside. There's nothing wrong with that. But if the area is completely secluded and there's no cameras, well, that's up to you. Remember people, safety first. Houses that are vacant aren't maintained. Watch your step. But also look out for mold. Do not breathe in these places face masks are important, though I'll admit I have a bad habit of not wearing one. Finally, take pictures and videos, but don't take anything else. Respect these places. Don't be an asshole that destroys and steals things because that's why there aren't many places around anymore. Here's some footage of places I've been to. And in the future, I'll have more detailed videos about specific places, and sometimes I'll uncover the history of such places, so stay tuned for those.